Hey guys, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights. So welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk Absolute, which is of course a flanker of the original Pure Musk, which has been on my wish list for a very long time <laughs> since it's been released actually. For some reason I haven't gotten around to get, getting a bottle of the original Pure Musk, but I think it's such a beautiful, beautiful, pure, clean smelling musk scent that has been just on my mind for so long. <laughs> anyway, so now we have the Absolute version. I've been testing it here, and I will say that I think that when I say Absolute, uh, you'll assume that this is a stronger, more intense, longer lasting, but on my skin, this is not the case. I find that the original Pure Musk actually lasts longer and projects more then the absolute version the absolute version does feel heavier and denser uh, but it sits closer to the skin anyways back to the absolute version it smells very very similar you guys when i smell this i'm like automatically thinking of the pure musk the dna is in there the same clean pure smelling beautiful musk um, it's in here in the absolute version too, but uh, the difference is that with the original Pure Musk, it does feel a lot more um, fresher and airier and lighter, kind of like a fluffy cloud, it kind of reminds me of. Uh, but with the absolute version, it feels more packed, uh, more dense, um, but it doesn't smell more intense. It just has like a heavier feeling than the uh, the uh, original Pure Musk. Um, but the scent itself, quite similar. With the dry down with the original Pure Musk, I get this um, really creamy, beautiful musk. Kind of makes me feel like it's like a milky musk. Creamy, milky musk on my skin, which I love. It's just a nice, cozy feeling, um, comfortable, relaxing scent. But with the Absolute version, what I'm left with is more of a woody kind of musk. It's not as creamy, it's not as smooth, it's not as silky and milky as the original, but it is earthier, more woodsy, and maybe even a little bit more musky. At least that's what I get on my skin. So I do love both versions, you guys. I think that the Pure Musk the original is fantastic. I think that the Absolute version is also great. I think it costs more as well. Um, but I don't find it to be, you know, more intense. <laughs> On my skin, it doesn't last longer. It does sit closer to the skin. And um, I guess the easiest, I guess the easiest way, sorry, <laughs> that I can put it is that the original Pure Musk for me, I can see wearing as an everyday scent, maybe something safe for the office. It's more easygoing because of that uh, very nice fluffiness that it gives off. Um, the absolute version for me is giving me this feeling that it's more serious, more mature. Nonetheless, they are both absolutely gorgeous. I haven't heard that many people talk about the absolute version. I would love to hear your opinion on the absolute version and also the original version um, if you've tried it and which one do you prefer. In any case, I love this Pure Musk. I love the Absolute version as well, but if I had to choose between the two, I would probably go for the original Pure Musk because of how light and fluffy and airy and um, beautiful it is, although they're both beautiful. Um, but yeah, I would go for the Pure Musk original. So that was my quick thoughts. Those were my quick thoughts on the uh, the original Pure Musk and the Pure Musk Absolute. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.